I'm here playing a little bit of the Braves of Mar for you to give you an idea of how to approach a Strathspey. I was playing it sort of in a, um, a Highland style, down, up, down, up, down, up. Really no different different uh, up bows or strange things like that, just down, up, down, up. It's sometimes known as a hack bowing. And I'm doing this video to sort of answer some questions about how to approach a Strathspey. Um, and really, the key is the separation in the snap of the Strathspey. The very first um, part of the snap is sort of the important part, and then the rest of it is a sort of connectedness. Now, the version of the Braze of Mar that I'm doing here is actually from um, Barbara McGowan's uh, collection online, the Triple S Smashing Scottish Session Tunes. And I'll put a link of that in the, um, in the comments down below so that you can follow along if you'd like. But um, just looking at the very first part of it, um, getting that snap is sort of the key to the, um, uh, to the Scottish idiom. And the snap is simply a short note followed by a long note with a separation followed. And um, that very first note is a very, very short note. And um, so you should just sort of, toward the lower part of the bow, it's just a very, very, very small one. So, and then you lift the bow. And that lift is very important. So now getting back down to the um, string is also very important. So the way that I've been uh, explaining this lately is that you can actually muffle the the, uh, the string that you just played by playing like this. You kind of muffle it. And by muffling it, you're placing the bow on the string and you're getting that nice separation as well. And then what you do is and then you get a nice longer note like that. And so the rest of the notes are, are long, short, long, short. So, and those are actually connected on the string. So there's a, so those are on the string. And so every time you come up to a, a snap, that's when you start to lift the bow. Okay, so now some violinists are very good and they can come down in a controlled fashion without bouncing. You know that bouncing when you come down, that thing. Um, some people can do it without bouncing. But the thing is, is when you come down in a, in a moving fashion, the articulation isn't quite right for the Scottish idiom. You need to kind of have that, that little pop at the beginning of, um, of the note, that articulated um, beginning of the note. So I'll play it wrong in a, in a um, controlled good violinist sort of way. Oops. Okay, so that, that sounds nice, but really the right um, sort of sound for the, for the Scottish idiom is, is uh, more separation. You don't want the, the thing ringing all the time. Okay, so if you have any questions about how to get that sound or any questions about um, any more of the um, sort of the intricacies, um, that's more of a Highland style of, um, of a way of approaching the Strathspey. There are other styles of Strathspeys, um, for instance, the Northeast style Strathspey with the, with the um, arrow stroke, sometimes known as the updriven bow, or the, um, um, yeah, the updriven bow. And so that's a whole different story. So we'll talk about that later. But um, if you've got any questions, just put that down in the comments section. It's been nice talking to you folks. See you later.